November 30th marks the end of hurricane season. It's over, but it was busy. There were 21 named storms in the Atlantic. Only last year in 2005 had more, and that's why it's so hard to remember them all. So let's dive in. Hurricane season 2021 came in hot, starting with Claudette. It was only June when that storm made landfall in Louisiana, followed by Danny. That was the only one to directly make landfall in South Carolina. But in total, there were eight landfalls in the US and seven of those tracked east of the Mississippi River, having impacts in the southeast as well as notably in the northeast US too. Ida brought severe weather to the Gulf Coast and again in the northeast, producing tornadoes, flooding and wind. The storm had 150 mile per hour winds at landfall. That's the fifth strongest on record for the continental US. And as it tracked into the northeast, it merged with another disturbance and this produced devastating flooding. For the first time ever, New York City was under a flash flood emergency after three inches of rain fell in just an hour. In Philadelphia, river flooding reached record highs. Fred never made landfall in South Carolina, but as I always say, you've got to watch out for those Gulf storms because we we were on the sloppy side of the storm and that brought severe thunderstorms, most notably that EF1 tornado that was caught on camera over Lake Murray. Nicholas was the last storm to make landfall in the US on September 14th, marking an abrupt end to a busy season for our country. But Hurricane Sam still managed to break records into October. This storm maintained major hurricane strength for seven days. The fourth longest consecutive stretch for an Atlantic hurricane has stayed that strong. Every name on the World Meteorological Organization list was used in 2021. That's impressive, only outdone by two other years, but the number number of hurricanes seven was actually average this year and half of what we saw in 2020 major hurricanes. We had four that's above average, but nothing compared to 2020. We had a record breaking seven major hurricanes last year. And that's why this year may have appeared less intense in comparison. Technically, tropical activity can occur any month of the year, but June through November is the time to watch. So now that we're past that period, the odds of seeing anything in the tropics are very slim. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.